Hi everyone, it's me again. Today I'd like to talk to you about something that I found out about six months ago. And as you know very well, I usually don't find something out and come out and, and make a video right away because I want to learn more about it. Um, and I did the same, you know, with that Sabri and with the cranial sacral um, therapy. So this time it's very different. I mean, I haven't tried this on myself, so this is something that I don't know about 100%. But it touches me uh, close to home because, again, um, the news come from Italy. A lot of you know already, and uh, I wish more people would have talked about it in the past. And, and I wish that this could have happened a little sooner because, again, I followed the story for about six months, and, and uh, I, see, I saw some trouble at really learning more about it. Either way, I wanted to tell you about Dr. Zamboni. Dr. Zamboni is an Italian uh, doctor that works in Ferrara. Ferrara is a town in Emilia Romagna in central Italy. Um, this doctor has a very close relationship to multiple sclerosis because his wife uh, has been affected by this disease for many, many years. He wanted to help her um, and also he's a doctor, so he decided to study more about it. And he started, uh, he found something that mm, I, I'm not sure if many other doctors have found before, but he noticed that people with MS have too much iron in the blood, something that is definitely not good at all because um, iron is very toxic in, in high amounts and especially in the brain. So it kills a lot of cells, it actually ends up giving us um, autoimmune diseases and, and it does a lot of other damages. So definitely it's not good. We don't know exactly why we have too much iron in our, in our brains and that has to be discovered and studied a lot more, but he also found something else that is really, really interesting. Um, he found out that some of the blood vessels in our brain or in our neck are pretty much clogged. Um, not completely, not many, it could be one, it could be three, it doesn't matter, but some of them might be clogged in certain areas, they're just a very... Um, very small areas where you know if you can't really see it in an MRI, you have to do another type of um, uh, test. Either way, he found out that a lot of these people actually had one or many blood vessels that had these tiny little blockages. And I, have, even if I have to go back to my usual uh, story, because I believe this from the very beginning of my MS, we have blockages in our bodies, and uh, something is not moving right, something is not circulating right. So. Here is another way of showing this, and this is a scientific way to show it, to prove it, finally. So, I think it's really good. And what, Why am I telling you this story? Why am I talking to you about this? Simply because I don't want to um, you know, make anybody drink too much or tell you that this is going to be your cure, or this is going to be the right treatment for all of us, but I want to share it with you because I'd like you to go and learn more about it. Um, I found out that there is a center in Buffalo so in the state of New York, upstate New York, that is a very interesting in what Dr. Zamboni is doing. And so um, he invited him and many of the Italian patients that have gone through um, his study and up to, to Buffalo. And so these scientists are very, very interested in what he's been doing in his work. And they're going to be doing the same. This is very wonderful. They're talking about 1,100 people um, with MS that are going to be studying and hopefully are going to get better because of this. How can you get the people better? Well, Dr. Zamboni pretty much had a surgery with these people, so they um, put a little balloon into the blood vessel to pretty much uh, block the blockage. So try to really open up the blood vessel and let the blood uh, flow in the right way. So this is definitely, um, it makes a lot of sense to me. Everybody has their own opinion, of course, and I um, many of you don't know really my entire story, but for the longest time, for almost two years, um, my doctors were thinking that I had antiphospholipid syndrome, which is a blood disorder. I personally believed um, from the very beginning that I had a blood problem because of my circulation. I always felt it and I always um, had problems with circulation, even if it never really got to be uh, something uh, serious. Either way, for me, this is really making, uh, is making a lot of sense. And all I want to do is really just share the news. I'd like you to learn more about it. I'd like you to ask your doctor about it and see what he says or what she thinks about it. And then simply um, just learn more and ask more questions and find out more. And if there are any centers in the United States that will want to do the same, they will want to follow what Dr. Zamboni has been doing, then 
maybe go there and learn more about it and maybe have this procedure done if you find out that you have some blood vessels that are not um, working properly. So thank you so much for listening. I'll, I'll be, make sure that next to the video I will have as many informations as I found that I found out. And I'm, I'm so sorry if I like made mistakes or um, don't explain myself too good, but I was up until five o'clock this morning and I slept very little um, because I was able to, to learn more about this and, and talk about it to other people and also answer a lot of your emails. So thank you so much for listening to me and let's hope that this is, these are really good news and don't, um, you know, don't dream too much, be realistic, but at the same time, be excited. Okay, we needed to hear something like this. Let's hope it's going to work for us. This sounds really good. Okay, thank you. Bye.